All right, Trish. Um, here you go. Here, here's a little planer. Okay, it's got this little screw that tightens down the blade, and the blade sticks out that way, sticks to the front. Generally speaking, if you try and plane by just going straight forward, with this paint being as rubbery as it is, it just kind of gets gummed up. So when I plane, I either push to a 30 degree angle or I turn the planer to about a 30 degree angle and push. So I'm sort of cutting with the blade or about a 45. So I'm sort of cutting with the blade. Um, ah, good, it's trying to focus. Come on, baby, focus. Uh, uh, let me try and get back on this wide a little for you. So you get you a focus. Um, right now what we got is that's just stuff that we cut stuck inside this blade. But generally you're going to have that blade set about there. Okay. That's about where you can usually have it. That's probably actually out a little too far. The blade can be adjusted in and out by loosening up this screw a little, or a lot. I loosen it, then I can move the blade. There, I back the blade up a little bit. Um, if you got an area with a lot of ridges, you want the blade backed out so it's not sticking out far through the bottom, just barely. Okay, you can see there too, that blade's slightly crooked. In fact, that's really crooked. So let me straighten out that blade. Maybe you won't even have to move your blade, but in case you want to, you need to know how. Holy shit. Okay, baby. All right. That's pretty good. I'm trying to do this looking through the camera. That's probably about right. So you, you basically get the blade adjusted to where it's about level with the whole bottom of the thing or slightly above it, but you can't see really good. This thing's not focusing super great. Um, that's a very sharp blade, so you got to be careful. And it needs to be sharp or it won't work. So here I am going down here. I'm going to tally photo in on you. Man, I hope this camera will stay here long enough for me to do this. Okay. So here's two little dingo two you can see in the picture. So I first spray some water on, come across, and I move it at an angle going in the direction of the blade. Maybe turn it around, come back this way a little. So I cut it from a few different sides. And that got it pretty flat. It's going to be a, you know, it's, it's going to be a little, a little cut up, but it takes off the whole top. So when she paints, she can get me paint there. A lot of these things that are standing up are really bubbles. You can see the bit that it tore off. And depending on how dry it is, a lot of times it's basically just going to tear it off. There's other stuff that um, is more particulate matter right next to, oh man. Fuck. God. Okay, this, this one here, that is an actual piece of paint. I'm going to adjust the blade down a little. I had it out a little too far. It's grabbing too much. Very slightly move it back. Grab my screw and tighten it back up. All right. I'm going to come across and get that little purple blob. Let's see if I can zoom in for you to see it better. Fuck. I guess that's all this camera can do. So I come in and I, and I move across at an angle. Good, I cut a bunch off, I turn it around, I come the other way. I come from the end, get it from a few different angles. And after it's already cut off the major part, then I press to get some pressure 
to get down the floor. And, and you might not be able to tell in the picture, but it's cut the whole top off that. And sometimes it might be working in a big area, so I first kind of do this side cut thing to get everything. But then if I'm going across the big area, which there's nothing wrong here, a lot of times I'll pull it and have an angle and switch my angle and pull it, come back, pull the other way, switch my angle, and it'll actually be cutting off the high spots. And you'll see this stuff build up inside the, inside the uh, planer. And then you pull that out and throw it in a refuse box. There you go. I don't know.